Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplying two digit by one digit numbers. This is standard 3.4G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 of the 2021 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a softball team that plays six, six tournaments and they pay $95 each. So what is the total amount the softball team paid to play in these six tournaments? So we need to multiply 95 and six. There are many different ways that we could solve this problem and I will show you quite a few of them. First, let's just look at what we consider the standard algorithm. So this is just the normal way of 95 times 6. If you ask your mom or dad to help you, they'll line it up like this and they'll say this is how you multiply. So we call this the standard algorithm. It's just the normal way. That's all that means. So the standard algorithm lines it up like this and you start on the bottom row and you say 6 and you're going to multiply it first by the ones place. So 6 times 5 makes 30. Now, knowing that we have place value here, right, we've got our little place value, our ones place and our tens place. When we're putting our 30, we can't put two digits underneath the 6, so we're just going to put, of our 30, we're going to put our 0, because that's in the ones place, and we're going to carry this 3. So, I said 6 times 5 is 30, and here's my 30, but I just broke it up into two parts, into the tens and into the ones. Now you multiply 6 by the other number. Now, we not need to know where 6 is, so 6 times 9. If we're not sure of 6 times 9, we could work it out in many multiple ways. 9 times 6 would be an easier way if you wanted to flip that, right, and just think of your 9s, but that's going to be 54. But we have this 3 left, so we've got 54. If I think 54, we need to add that 3, because remember we had those 3 tens from that original 30. So we need to add that back in. That's going to get you 57. There's no other digits to multiply, so we can go ahead and put both digits down, so we've got 570. That's the standard algorithm. Now, if we use the distributive property, that's a cool way to do it. What we could do is we can break it apart. So we're going to break apart our factor 95 into two parts. We're going to say 95 is really 90 plus 5, right? Let's take... Let's take care of it in two chunks, 90 and 5. Think of it as expanded form. And the distributive property lets us know that you can multiply both of them by 6. It's pretty cool. Add up the two products to get your answer. So it's a little bit easier. So 9 times 0 is going to be 0. So it's always good to do it this way because you get zeros and you don't have to worry about carrying or anything like that. 9 times 6 is 54. And then you say 6 times 5 is 30. Now, guess what you got to do? Add those up, and you know what you're going to get? 570. Sometimes it looks like this. You could do that 95 times 6. You might line it up just like a standard algorithm, but you do it in two different rows. You say 6 times 5, you do this first, is 30. You write both of them there. Then you just make sure that you do this, but you realize that since this 9 is in the tens place, you need to put a 0 here so your answer starts in the tens place. That's the only trick. If you do it like this in two different rows, so that's going to be that same 54, and guess what you get? Your 570. You have to add those up at the end. So this right here is the same thing as this right here. These two are both using the distributive property break apart. Some of you might use compensation, right? So 95 is really close to 100. So that's going to be 6. So that's 600. What I did was I added 5, so I need to take away 6 groups of 5 to get it back. And guess what that's going to be? 570. Or you could have just estimated your 600 and said, you know what, the only one that's really close to 600 is this A, 570. And you would have been correct. So that is many different ways that you can multiply two-digit by one-digit numbers.